Stretch. Stretch. Stretch over here. <clears throat> Sounds like Rice Krispies. All right, today I'm going to paint something fun. One feeling it. As soon as my music cranks, I'm feeling it instantly. Instantly. All right. What you see on the screen is Frankie Frazetta. And he was awesome drawing horses. I mean, come on. Sad out of here. This is one of my favorite ones right here. They're all my favorite. All Frank Frazettas are my fave. All right, today, cameraman. Get your ish together, cameraman. We're going to paint this, right? So we've done our little simple statement stuff, and we've been mixing color all week. I want to try to do something a little more focused. And let's go. Using a, a light blue coal erase. All right, so we want to. Not draw anything in particular yet, right? What was that sound? That was crazy. It has to be something on one of these goofy websites. Yeah. Rosetta Girls, they're messaging me. <laughs> Let me close that out. Not now, Rosetta Girls. Not now. All right. It's darker than normal in here. All right, so we want to make sure this all fits on the page. All right? So we're just like, we're doing the overall shape. No detail. No detail. We don't want the horse's butt off. The page that would make us sad. We love horse butts. At least I love horse butts. This horse here has uh, he's been hitting the gym, or she. See a langer danger down there, so maybe it's a she. This guy's got a basket. So, got it roughly where we want it. So, let's get some of these ratios right. Things to look for. All right, so, if my memory serves me correctly, horses have like a C shape here and then a C, a backwards C shape here. Right? And then the torso is like a giant egg right there. Then you have a lump here where the sternomastoid on the horse connects. Can't see it, but there's like a top of the spine there. Oh, want a round shape here. Eyes are on top. The and animals. This is their heel, right? This is what would be your heel. This is your knee. This is a horse knee. I believe. 
that helps. And this guy bends right here, right? So you can see the leg back behind is up. Right here is the elbow. And his wrist is like, like that. Like that. When I drew uh, Game of Thrones, I had to draw very, very, very large quantity of forces. I often wonder what what the book would look like if I drew it now. I've done a few commissions here and there. But yeah, I haven't painted anything from Game of Thrones or I mean drawn anything from it since like twenty sixteen. It's the last commission I've did. Get that little egg shape. Snee. Shrump. Or seed do the rump shaker. Alright, so this comes out past that, right? So that's like a little Q right there. So it'd be about right there. Almost off the page. Some of these shadows. So the question is, how detailed do I want to go on this thing? Do I really want to go all in? I don't know that I have the time to do that. I could make this a two-part series, right? But if I was going to do that, I might as well do draw it on um, something bigger. Make it really, really worthwhile. Tell you what, we're just going to keep this one small. Yeah, it's going to be small. Because we'll start bigger stuff come New Year. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's like, oh, I'm ready. For, I'm ready to do a master work now. Fool, ready? Not yet, but you will be. Then we're gonna test our limits. All right, now. Now that we got the shape down, I know you can barely see it, but trust me, it's there. I'm going to blur my eyes, right? So we have a highlight here, a slight one there. This is a section. That's a section. That is a section. But it's all shadow here. Right. So, let's see if we can't find those shapes. It's an equine gadonk gadonk. Right, that's the next uh, country rap song. Equine, good don't, don't. Gonna use the side of my pencil. Mainly because it's, I don't want it cutting into the paper. I'm gonna stop myself from getting crazy with it.
you'll see these are just simple shapes. Pipe, there's a pipe. There's a C, so the, what makes this is the shading we're going to add to it. Right, right there. So let's add another butt cheek. That is tail feathers. It's almost way more of a curve than I was thinking. This horse has the boots with the fur. Now, since it's been a while since I've painted a horse, I could get crazy and pull up the anatomy. I actually have a horse, like, plastic sculpture thing around here somewhere. Maybe it's in my shelf. I didn't even mess with it. Right? How good is that opening riff? Let's be ready to paint. I just, I didn't like that opening, that heavy metal riff at first, but it's starting to grow on me. I find myself on the headbang. Just a little bit. I think I probably need to go to church. This, this was Sunday. I'm sure, I don't want the devil taking over me. Well, I don't write demonic heavy metal. This old chap here is happy. It's a cloudy day and he's got on his sunglasses, looks like. I know, it's probably his regular glasses, but we'll pretend it's sunglasses. Went to the beach, rode my horse around. How ridiculous does that sound? <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but that sounds crazy. Yeah, been at the beach riding a horse around all day. What? Horses, they got like a pretty flat top. Flared nostrils. And is. Talks like George Plimpton. That proper New England rich man accent. A little bit of Sean Connery in there, maybe. Maybe. Horses. Tell you what, wild horses couldn't drag me away from this stream right now. Yeah, I like the Rolling Stones a little bit. They had a little bit of country in them. Do you know that uh, Paint It Black was written about Frank Frazetta painting Death Dealer's Horse? Frank 
All right, where's our horse lacking? Let's bring his, his belly up. Powerful of a shape. Up in my peas. Let's bring this back a little more. Get five, ten miles up the road. Won't hardly hold that ass up. She would stop using that which What in the world? Oh, that's his foot. He's got his foot coming up right there. It's right there. What am I doing? Hmm. I know they normally have like a little round thing like that. Ah, uh, that was it. Needed the arc right there. Made it a little more powerful. I think my eye is too low. Okay. Alright, so now we got it kind of on there. So let me look at this. What could I do to make this stronger looking? Rob and I went for a walk. He got a walk in today. So yesterday, I'm walking Rob, 14-year-old wiener dog, right? He's trying to get him some exercise. I've been feeding him too much. He's big and fat, out of shape, like me, right? Tell him I'm the owner. You can tell we hang out all day, eat hamburgers and cheeseburgers. I get up to the spot where I'm about to get him out of the wagon, right? I gotta drag him up the road. Because he doesn't want to walk. Because he's old. Stubborn. But if I take him up the road and dump him out, then he'll walk back. He'll follow me back. He likes it. Well, he didn't want to go today. You know why? Because yesterday, the new guy in the neighborhood left his dogs out for some reason, right? Not just any dogs. Three pit bulls. So I get, like, right before his house, all of a sudden I hear, whoa, 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 whoa. I have three pit bulls charging me, right? And I'd met one before. Remember, I walked out and the dog was outside the house on the front porch. And I walked it down to the owner. Talked to them a little bit. Um. I thought he had two, but no, no, no. He's got three. How many pit bulls do you need? Seriously. So I'm like terrified with three pit bulls charging me. So I just say, no. No. Remember that. Most powerful word in our language is no. Stops every spell people are trying to cast on you. It has a primal. No. Oh. Right? And they came up, and thank God they were friendly. I was hitting them with that. I was hitting them with that Barry White, that no, no. So then I didn't get Rob out, and we walked back, you know, because I didn't want to get him out. My daughter lives next door, and her dog is about to go in heat. 
six months old. So they got a an appointment to go get it, get her spayed. And um, that's on the tenth. But what I mean, if those dogs had smelled my daughter's dog, they could have went crazy on my my little dog. And if, with three of them, I would have been powerless. Like one pit bull, I feel like a person could take a pit bull if they're not terrified of it, right? I mean, the dog's like small; he's gonna try to latch on and all that. Just grab a hold of his collar and twist, and just take your time. You know, he's gonna be like. Rah, rah. But if you hold that twist on the collar, you'll put him to sleep, or her to sleep. One of the dogs was a girl. That's the one that was on the front porch a couple weeks back. And then today we go to walk, and of course Rob's like not wanting to walk. He's all terrified. Like even though the dogs didn't do anything but sniff into the wagon, I felt like if they could have pulled him out, it might not have went so swimmingly but seriously why have three pit bulls okay free country you can have your three pit bulls why are you letting your three pit bulls run around in the neighborhood that's crazy freaking idiot anyway back to painting this horse There's like two special needs kids on the on the block. They get home around three, like when school lets out. That's not even counting the tree across the way. Like we have a creek across the road. And a tree fell over the summer. It was out into the road and everything, so I called the county and they came and like cut the tree out of the road but they didn't fix the one laying across the creek because that's not in the road well kids play in that creek all the time like at the end of the road where we live it drains into it so there's like this you can walk off in there it's like concreted where they've poured it so it can drain without eroding it and all that But it's a, the tree fell, it, it broke it like halfway up, hit this other tree, and the other tree is the one that fell into the road. So you have this tree that's like 70 feet, 80 feet tall, that's broken in half and laying on this other tree. At any minute, this could snap. So the kids are constantly in the creek running up and down under it. And every time I'm outside the sea, I'm like, hey, kids, don't get under the tree. It could fall at any minute. Should probably. I don't have a chainsaw. I would go do it myself. So the bulldog thing got me thinking. I think I'm going to call the county again. And record it and let them know I'm recording it. It's on record. That they need to come take care of the tree. Because it's a waterway, right? So a waterway is... That's, the landowner doesn't own the waterway. I think. But I don't know for sure. I don't know the maritime laws. The current sea. Right? I think that's what money's named after. Use it. Pirates use the current sea. <laughs> Okie doke.
That is a bit of green in that, isn't there? Actually, a touch, touch of warm in that middle strip. Let's do it! I got my needed eraser in there. I'll have to use this old one. Right, I don't want the pencil smearing and taking out. So now that we got what we want, I'm going to dampen the strength of it a little. Watched this homesteading guy last night build a shows up on your property and chops down your trees and makes you a little hut. It's pretty baller. I think I could do that. Pro tip, I probably couldn't do that. Killed myself doing it. Especially get rid of Okay, dope. I got the angle on the horse head a little wrong. Oh well. It's time! I think the horse's back end is too small. Gummit. His foot's out way further. The dotted line of the paper got me, so... We won't worry about that perforated line, because we're going to keep this thing in a sketchbook anyway. I'm trying to tear it out. Hmm. I just don't know. Just don't know. Let's figure it out. add in this horse has three butts <laughs> there Did that fix it I think that fixed it let's go Let's just use this yellow first. Even get it a little muddy. Straight across there. It's a little transparent. We'll we'll hint at it up here. Once we get those grays in there. Right. Hang rubble.
Got a little rose in there. Just to just to have it. Right, we're going a little darker there than it is on the thing, just to s establish. A uh, horizon line. Concentrating, concentrating. I'm going to work up a couple more little video things to, to add this weekend. All right, so let's get the black. going Let it rain, let it rain down on me. I think his voice might be getting better. All right, let's mess with this horse a little bit with a finer brush. But first, first we're going to dry.
good enough. Ah, sneeze already. What was that all about? What the heck? Is there anything worse than a sneeze that doesn't happen? I think I want to put some green in this black here. Okay. Okay. Ooh, rubble. Stinky. Rubble's got those nervous farts going on. Nervous about seeing all those. Crazy pit bulls. Those crazy friendly pit bulls that could turn at any second and eat us both alive. Well, it's not the dog, it's how the dog was raised. Incorrect. We're not blank slates. Which is the Renaissance Tabula Rasa. Try to make you think we were. We're not blank slates. Fifty six percent. All dog attacks are pit bulls. But at least these were friendly. I'm still alive and have all my limbs. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I call that a win. <laughs> Round bucket. That funky bucket. Too rich. Okay. Now, back to the lecture at hand. Snoop dog it dog It wasn't my imagination. He is getting better at singing.
All right, let's pop these shadows after we do quick. Let's get some more. Let's do a little ochre. Little ochre? That's my rap name. Nah, <laughs> it's hot. Kind of haphazard on me. Some more color in there. All right. Turn it and my reference sideways, right? All of a sudden, it's a totally different drawing. Seeing it at a different angle. Pro tip. Honey, I think this man might actually know what he's doing. There, enough of that. Reorient. Gonna get the bottom of the foot. The hoof. Ah, horse feet. I've been reading up on multiple personality disorder. I'm not trying to say anything. I'd look into it. Right, there's the shape, and then there's the shape. Just keep adding. Take your time. Hurry up. Don't be late. The choice is yours. What was that? What was I just humming? Charlie Big Potato. Salad. Tried watching that Beatles documentary. You gotta send that, that little kid, you gotta send that kid home, you gotta send Yoko Ono home. Then I'll watch. It wasn't very watchable. I could see if, you know, maybe when I go through my next music phase, which will be Sometime next year, I think. I've been thinking. Right, got all this musical equipment. I need to start using it. Is 
then I might could get something out of it, you know, for music nerds, seeing how they songwrite and construct a song. I think I want purple, blue. Get hydrated. Get hydrated, sucker. Black. And blackness. And some more. Let's see what it's looking like. Not purple enough. I like the way yesterday's. Um, I want this wet. I like the way yesterday's colors are informing today's colors. Like, the, the this color is not even really on here. But maybe, you know? So I'm adding it. And this is my paint. Get your own. I've never seen anybody so selfish in my life. He says this videos, but chill. A children can watch this video. A uh, children. I hate the way that happened. Not a fan. Let's see if we can't scuff it up. Blend. Blend. All right. Let's throw some yellow on the sucker. Go deep yellow. Ochre. Jakiza. It's a nice day for a Yellow Rinko, it's a nice day to start again. Come on. Little that, little that, little that. Zia. That's enough. Let's fuzz it. Let's fuzz it. Pew, 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 pew. 
Uh, now, pull some of that up. Do you think the white gouache might actually work on this? Because this is dull. It's a hazy day. Even though it's like pretty close, you got a little bit of at at most theoretic perspective. <laughs> go with the brown. We gonna go with the brown. We want these cool shapes. They're all shapes, right? You're not drawing a wrinkle. You're drawing like the little hollowed out part. Doesn't have to be exactly like his wrinkles on here. I'm just suggesting. And it's running a little more than I want, but I think we're going to roll with it because one, I'm about ready to be done with it. Two, I'll blow dry it. And then where it blended, where it blended, then we add in one more layer of dark and it'll really pop. One billion six trillion eight thousand seventy five watts. Meow. Meow. Mm. Didn't know I was a Moog synth, did you? Little guy. Sorry, sorry about that. Check, check. Is this thing on? Check, check. All right. Look at that fractal pattern. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, Australian people, the wiggles. Dude, they locking people up over in Australia. Crazy over there. To quote Rick Patino, Crocodile Dundee's not walking through that door. Oh, you fancy. Remember when uh, Katy Perry and Rihanna had their little run in? Rihanna said, Oh, you fancy.
Let's um What do we want to do? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go a little darker on this fella's hair. Too much paint in the brush. Too many cooks. My daughter showed me that video. I think that sucker is weird. You know, like cat with lasers coming out of his eyes. Somebody's messaging. Say, comic guy, how you do what you do? Just appreciate what the good Lord gave me. Crazy, 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 crazy nights. All right, Halsey. Let's thin this out. Brown for the whole thing. We'll add in those ropes and belts and buckles and all that stuff in a minute. Okay. Now I'm gonna do more gray. Let's do a touch of purple right here. What do you think? You wanna go for it? Touch of purple. I will get by. That uh, shadow from the horse really drops off fast right there. It's really not past the legs. Sorry about that. Your horse is tricky. Streaky, streaky. I tell you what, some songs he just can't do them justice, even with that beautiful voice. Oop. Oop. Right? We're not drawing the hair, we're drawing. 
suggestions of negative space around the hair. Right. Black. <laughs> it's hard not to start talking like this. Got a little bounce light, so let's. Right, so the Terminator's here. Right here. And then we got some bounce light under there, I think. If not, well, we do now. Starting to lose it a little. Painting, not my mind. You guys are not nice sometimes. All right, let's get some of this in there. This. Let's do. Ochre, watered down. This fella has a finger. <laughs> so there. All right. I think we need a touch of blue. I mean, a touch. Actually, let's try this. So that way when it goes on, it'll be a glaze, a glaze of glory. We're actually going to use the big brush because we're going to do an overall glaze on this. This mama jama. I didn't use any paper towel today. What? How does he do it? Show us how you do. Van Halen. Chained. Nothing stays the same. Unchained. Hit the ground running. Touch of block. Yeah. All right. All right. Hell, dark signal. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. It's going to look darker than it should. It's too. It's too blue. Till it ain't. Lord have mercy, what have I done? Alright, we're going to get the... 
wipe this thing out. What do I do with my paper towel I just had? It's all the colors. Here we go. I'm going to whack it with an overall coat of gray. that brush out a little make sure none of that gray's in there. All right. Pull it down. Okay, okay. All right, let's whack this with And it'll just a touch dark. Let's hit it with some streaks. Okay. Should be a little darker there. All right, almost done. Just dry it. And our our straps and our buckles. Get a touch of blue in that, mainly brown. All right, we want a touch of blue. Keep cool. Keep cool. Keep cool. All right, Halsey. It's darker than that. Just a little bit of painting that hair back into it. All right, so then we get this strap here. This guy under here. Goes to there.
Well, as we wind down, I hope you, uh, taking the reins on your watercolor for today. No giggling in the crowd, please. Oh no, let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. Alright, I'll get a copyright strike. Because I'm spot on on that. Prince's estate's going to tag me up. All right, so let's do a little Frizz what would Frizzetta do? What would he do here? There's no orange in this. Let's, let's tag in orange in a spot or two. Some orange there. There. Okie dokie. Couple, a couple more straps. Then let's use our designer's gouache and really mess it all up. Right, this is where we're going to figure out if we have went too far or not far enough. Right, I could leave that as is and be pretty happy with it. Clean the brush. Want sky blue, white. Punch a couple holes in it there. Uh -huh. And there, 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 tag it up there.
Yeah, probably could have left it. Okay. Let's add some spatter down in here. Should we not? Let's not. All right, I'm calling this one a day. Not bad for an hour. Imagine what I could do with two hours. And have it be larger, you know? We went to blue down here. Executive decision. But I like the way it looks. We'll know next time not to go so heavy with the blue. All right. Hit him with a flex. Oh, I popped all the bones up there. Oh, all right. See y'all. Probably not tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow. I'm telling you, New Year though, we're going seven days a week. Let's